number 18 let's read it first In 2016 biological anthropologist Heetha F Smith and her team investigated the evolution of the appendix an intestinal organ that is present in some mammals including humans but is generally thought to have no function studying 533 mammal species the team found that the appendix has emerged independently across multiple lineages in separate instances and significantly hasn't disappeared after emerging in specific lineages moreover the team determined that species with the organ tend to have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue which supports immune responses in the cecum the organ the appendix is attached to therefore the team hypothesized that the appendix likely blank so which choice most logically completes the text is it a was once present in many non mammal species but has since disappeared from those lineages B has been preserved in certain mammal species because it benefits their immune systems C will emerge in a greater number of mammal species because it may serve a necessary function in the immune system or D produced higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue in mammals in the past than it does currently So I think this is an interesting question because we are talking about the appendix many times you might have heard oh the appendix doesn't have any uh, use so it has been removed so some patients when they complain about some extreme uh, pain in the stomach many times the appendix has been removed saying that it doesn't have any use actually no function so but uh, some study has been done so uh, the teams hypothesized so what can the team hypothesize based on this uh, study therefore the team hypothesized that the appendix likely blank so if you said b well done that is the correct answer So choice B is the best answer because it most logically completes the text discussion of Smith and colleagues investigation of the evolution and biological role of the appendix. The text indicates that the team found several instances of the appendix emerging and not disappearing in the lineages of various mammal species. The team examined. So if it was not useful the appendix would have disappeared from the body but it is uh, still there. Furthermore the text states that species that possess an appendix also tend to have relatively high amounts of lymphoid tissue so one of the most important things with this soil is they have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue so a type of tissue that supports the immune system function so taken together these details strongly support the hypothesis that the appendix has persisted in some species because it has a function that contributes to effective immune responses in those species and then a is incorrect because the text doesn't address any non mammalian species and uh, choice c is incorrect because the text doesn't make predictions about the evolutionary future of the species smith and colleagues examined and although the implication of the text is that the appendix likely does serve a function for the immune system uh, nothing in the text indicates that the appendix will become more widespread in the future so they're not talking about uh, evolutionary aspects of that they're just trying to see whether it has any function or not the appendix and d is incorrect Although the text does suggest an association between having an appendix and relatively high concentrations of lymphoid tissue it doesn't claim that the appendix causes the tissue to grow nor does it address the relative production of the tissue at different periods of time so that is what what it's discussing so i hope it's clear <laughs>